Today on our 2017 Toyota Sienna, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the DrawTight Class 3 Custom Fit Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number 76112. So here's what our hitch looks like fully installed. The cross tube is going to tuck up nicely behind the fascia and all we're really going to see is the receiver tube sticking out. Now it is a class 3 hitch which means it's going to give us a 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening and it's also going to feature a nice reinforced collar not only giving it added strength but a nice clean finished look. Now our hitch is going to use a standard 5 8 pin and clip and that's going to be the hole towards the front of the vehicle and it doesn't come with one but you can pick one up on our website using part number PC3. Now the secondary hole towards the back of our hitch, that's going to be for the J-pin stabilization device, which is going to be great if any of your accessories don't have a built-in anti-rattle. Now as far as the safety chain loops go, it's going to be a rolled steel stock style loop style welded to the bottom. And as you can see, we're going to have plenty of room to get most size hooks on or off. Our hitch is going to feature a 525 pound tongue weight along with a 3500 pound gross trailer weight rating. Now it is designed to use with weight distribution systems and those numbers are going to stay the same. Now I just do want to mention you always want to double check your vehicle's owner's manual to make sure that your van can handle pulling that amount of weight. One of the nice features our hitch has is right here, right below our fascia, we're going to have a bracket welded onto the cross tube and there we can mount any of our electrical accessories so when we're ready to tow our connections will be right there. Now I'd like to give you a few measurements to help you when deciding for accessories for your new hitch, such as a ball mount, bike rack, or even a cargo carrier. From the center in the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper, it's going to be 4 inches. Now from the ground to the inside top edge of the receiver tube opening, it's going to be right about 12 inches. Now that we've gone over some of the features and benefits, let's show you how we get it installed. To begin our installation, we're going to need to remove the appearance panel underneath our trunk pan here, and we're going to have 5 bolts on the very edge towards the back, holding it in place. I'm going to be using a 10 millimeter socket to remove these bolts. Now we're also going to have a few plastic screw type fasteners that are holding it in place. And there's going to be two in the back, one on each side, and then one towards the back of our vehicle here on each side. So there's going to be a total of four. Then we'll be using a Phillips head screwdriver to remove them. And we're going to repeat that for the other three remaining fasteners. Now we're going to have some pushpin fasteners that we're also going to have to remove as well. And there's going to be a total of seven, though, seven of them. One here, here, two in the center, and then a few more on the left side. Now the way we're going to take these out is I'm going to take a flathead screwdriver and we're going to pop the center section out to release the clip. And then we can take out the rest of the clip. Now we're going to repeat that for all the remaining fasteners. And we're going to go ahead and set this panel aside for now. The next step is going to be lowering our exhaust and we don't want it to let it hang down too low. So I'm going to be taking a strap to help support it. Now the easiest way to lower it down would be to come to our rubber isolators here and we're going to have to remove the hanger out of the rubber isolator. Now to help me with that, I'm going to take a little bit of penetrating oil and I'm just going to spray a little bit on there and it'll help it slide off a little easier. Now we're going to have this one hanger that's directly in front of the tailpipe and then if we go back to the muffler we're going to have one that's also attached to the driver's side of the muffler. Slide the isolator off and that'll give us plenty of room to get our hitch in place now. On each side of our frame we're going to have several black stickers and one rubber plug. Now we're going to need to remove the stickers because they're going to have the factory weld nuts underneath. Now the plug right here can go ahead and stay in place. So I'm just going to take a flathead screwdriver. You can take a utility knife or anything you have around to help get this sticker off. And as you can see we have a weld nut inside the frame and that's going to be our mounting location. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the rest of these stickers as well as the other side. Now we did have the stickers covering up our weld nuts, so there shouldn't be any debris or any dirt in there, but just in case you didn't have the stickers or they do look a little dirty, I'm gonna take a little bit of penetrating oil and I'm gonna spray it inside my weld nut. Then I'm gonna come back with a nylon brush and I'm gonna clean out all the debris. Now if you need one of these nylon brushes, you can pick one up on our website. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that for all the remaining weld nuts. 
Now our hitch, when we get it in place, it is going to sit behind our fascia up here. Per the instructions, we're supposed to remove the rear fascia. Now we found we can get it in there without removing the rear fascia, but these tabs right here, I'm actually going to take these tabs and temporarily I'm just going to bend them down out of the way and we're going to have one of these tabs on each side of the back side of our car. Now the three weld nuts on each side of the frame, we're going to be taking an M12 bolt from our kit, followed by a half inch lock washer, and then finally followed by a half inch flat washer, and that's what we're going to be putting in place to secure our hitch. Now with an extra set of hands, we're going to take our hitch and put it in place. We're going to slide it over our exhaust. We're going to take our fascia, the tabs on it, and we're going to slide them out of the way. Just make sure the tab goes on the outside of our hitch, and then we can get our hardware in place. I'm only going to get one bolt in on each side, just enough to support the hitch so I can get the rest of my hardware in place. I'm going to come back with a 19 millimeter socket and tighten up all my bolts. And we're going to repeat that for all the remaining bolts. I'm going to come back and torque all my bolts down to the specified amount in the instructions. And we're going to repeat that for all the remaining bolts. Now in order to reinstall our appearance panel, we are going to have to trim it out. Now there is a diagram in the instructions, and I went ahead and measured and drew out the section that's going to be trimmed. Now this material is pretty flexible, so you should be able to just use a knife to cut it, and that's what I'm going to be doing. Just want to take your time, make sure that you don't slip and cut any more than you need to. And for these tabs that we bent down, we can go ahead and bend them back up into place. And you just want to make sure that they're not making contact with the hitch. And we'll go ahead and bend the other one up as well. Now our hitch is going to feature a bracket that we can mount our electrical accessories for, which in the instructions, they don't give us any measurements to cut out for it. So what I did was, is I found the mounting location right next to it, and then I measured from the center of this hole to the edge of my bracket, and then on my panel, made a mark right there on the panel, and then measured how long my bracket was, and then cut back to the mounting hole. And I'll show you how I marked it out. So here's the mounting hole. I just went over just before the edge of that crease right there, and then I measured over roughly about three inches, and then I just made it go straight across and come all the way down. Now this is optional because if you're not going to be using the bracket, then you don't need to cut it out. The panel will just cover it up. But in our case, we are going to be adding a bracket later, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it out now. With our panel trimmed out, we can go ahead and put it back in place, line up all of our tabs, and we can start putting all our hardware back in place too. We'll go ahead and put our exhaust back into place. I'm just going to want to move the rubber isolator out of the way and it should slide right on. And then finally, we can remove the strap. And that'll finish up our look at the Draw Tight Class 3 Custom Fit Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number 76112 on our 2017 Toyota Sienna. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.